Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we are solving Falling in Line by Philip Newman. This is the gas puzzle that was posted on October 6th, 2024. And this is a 159 Sudoku. So what does that mean? So in 159 Sudoku, we have three marked columns and the digits in the first column tell you where all of the ones are in this puzzle. So for example, there's a one here, it's in the third position from the left, one, two, three. So the first column will contain a three. There's a one here, it's in the fifth position from the left, one, two, three, four, five. So the first column will contain a five. And the same will be true for all of the other ones in the puzzle, but they are not placed yet. So we need to figure out where they are before we get to place our indexing digits. The middle column tells you the locations of all of the fives in the puzzle. So here there is a five in the eighth column from the left. So I'm going to put an eight here in the middle column. Here there's already a one in the middle column showing us that the five is in the first column from the left. And here there is a five in the second column from the left. So I'm gonna place a two. Finally, the rightmost column tells you where all of the nines are located in this puzzle. Here the nine is in the fifth column. So I'm gonna put a five there. And here the nine is in the seventh column, so I will put a seven there. And now we're going to have to do a bit of Sudoku. Well, actually, we don't need to resort to Sudoku just yet um, because we have some other clues that we can use right off the bat to pencil in some digits. So this is a four, so we can place a one in the fourth column from the left. We have a three here, so we can place a five in the third column. We have a seven here, so we can place a five in the seventh column. We have a six here, so we can place a nine in the sixth column. And that, I think, is the point where we have to do Sudoku. So I have a one and a four here, and I have a one here. So the only position for one in the top central region is there, and then this is going to be my four. Because I just placed a one, that has to be indexed by the first column. So I'm going to place a six there. And then I'm going to jot down five, six, seven here because those are the only remaining digits in the region. Down here, I have a nine here and here, so I have to place a nine there. That's the only position that will allow a nine. And the only place for six is there. And because I've placed a nine here, I'm going to index it over here by saying it is in the fourth position from the left. So I'm gonna put a four in the rightmost column. And these are going to be three, four, and five. Now I have two fives here. That gives me a hidden five in the central region, which is going to resolve these, just by Sudoku, that now tells me that the five is in the sixth column there, so that's now a seven, and the five here is in the fourth column, so that is now a three. Okay, now things get a little bit trickier from here if I'm recalling correctly from testing this puzzle. So in this column, I'm going to need a three and a six, so that resolves using the three there. Here I'm gonna need a four and a seven, that resolves using the seven here. So that's fairly straightforward so far, okay. I need a one in either the seventh or the eighth column here because those are the only positions for one in this row. So that must be either a seven or an eight. My digits here are gonna be one, two, and eight. Okay, I could use any of those here. These are going to be one, two, four, and eight. That can't be a four. And this can't be a one by Sudoku. Hmm, what is my next move here? These are going to be two, eight, and nine in some combination. Let's see. So, come on Clover, this is my second tricky one in a row actually. And I know that there was something that like really unlocked all of this. So where can I place one here? It can be in position one, three, seven, or eight, but it can't be in position three because of the three there. And it can't be in position eight because of the eight there. So this is going to be either one or seven. Ah, I have a hidden seven in the, yeah, that's what's going on here. So I, there's only one possible position for seven in the bottom left region, which places a one here. And similarly, there's only one possible position for three in the top right region, which places a three here. That three indexes my nine and the seven indexes a one. So now I can eliminate nine here. And I know that these have to be two, four, seven, and eight. Four will be there by Sudoku. 
and my last digit in this row is going to be a 7. These need to be a 3 and a 6, so that's a 3 and that's a 6. And to finish this region in the bottom right, I'm going to need a 2, a 3, and an 8. So in which of those positions can I put a 9? It can't be in the 8th position because there's no possibility to place a 9 in that cell. And also I have a 3 up here. So now I know that 9 will be in the 2nd position and I can finish this region. Similarly, 1 can no longer be in position 7 here, so it'll be in position 8. So I mark that with an 8 in the first column. I can finish this 8, 9 by Sudoku. These need to be 6 and 8, which finishes by Sudoku. These can't contain an 8. That will be a 1 and a 2 due to the 2 at the top of column 2. And now I'm going to place an 8 here. That makes this a 4 and a 2 by Sudoku. And I can eliminate 4 and 2 there. Now I know that this will be an 8 and that will be a 1 that's already indexing itself, so I don't need to do anything further. My one remaining digit in this column is a 9, so 9 is in the first position and I can index that. Get that 4 by Sudoku right there. This is a 9, which is indexing itself. I need to place a 2 and a 7 to finish this column. And to finish this region slash column, I need a 3 and a 6. And that's how you solve Philip Newman's falling in line. I really enjoy indexing Sudoku. Um, I like that type of logic. It wasn't super common in the Sudoku world uh, before a couple of years ago, and then it kind of took off and has been explored pretty extensively since then. And I really enjoy seeing these, um, especially when they're nice and gentle like this one. If you want to solve yourself, the link to do so is in the description below this video. Check that out, and I will see you in three days.